more fun to be a heel in wrestling. And um, I, I sometimes like to wrestle like a baby face, but I act like a heel. And um, wrestling, everyone's talked about finding that new thing. Lucha Underground really seems to have found something here that's connected with people. And it's gotta be cool to be a part of this from, from the... We're here at the House of Hardcore event in Toronto with a victorious John Hennigan, who we saw earlier tonight in action with Tony Nese. Uh, first of all, how, how did the match go and uh, working with uh, Tony Nese tonight in front of that crowd in Toronto? Got to say, Tony Nese is one talented SOB. Um, House of Hardcore, this, this show specifically is, is one of the best shows I've had the honor of being on in a long time. Crowd is red hot. The building is red hot. Literally, I mean, I don't know if you can see this or not, but <laughs> my, my glasses are fogged up. It was freaking hot out there. It's like wrestling in a sauna. Yeah, you, you think you're coming up to Canada, it's going to be cold. Uh, I know, right? Anything from it. And last time I was in Toronto, it was snowing. <laughs> it's, it's been a while. Don't come in the summer. <laughs> uh, you know, there was a lot of expectation as well for this match to, tonight with Tony Nese and just the whole environment with House of Hardcore. I mean, you work lots of shows. I'm sure sometimes you're going to locker rooms and promotions where you don't know how you're going to be treated. Is there kind of just a, a certain safety net knowing a show that Tommy Dreamer is running, the reputation he has amongst, which is flawless to, to talent? For sure. This is the second House of Hardcore that I've done. The, both of them have been really professionally run and Tommy is, is a pro wrestler, you know, he's, uh, he's, he's one of the boys, he always has been, so he makes sure that the, uh, the guys are treated appropriately, and, um, you know, everyone appreciates that, and I can't say enough good things about Tommy, and if, if you've ever met him, you know what I'm talking about, he's, uh, he's one of the boys, and he's one of the good ones, too, um, he's always been a friend slash mentor to me in the business. Was he always someone you, you could talk to a lot in, in WWE when you, when you were in OVW getting called up? Because he had a bit... When I was in OVW, he was... Uh, when I, we first started in OVW, he was, he was on the road. And then at one point, he was promoted to the head of talent relations while I was in OVW, which to me was, was freaking hilarious because every once in a while, he'd be like, hey, Nitro, come, <laughs> come check out this tape while I'm, while I'm taking a tour of uh, the Twin Towers in Stanford. And I'm all nervous, and he's like, get in here, check this out. Some, somebody from Montana sent me this tape, and it's like just some weird audition tape. And I'm like, what do you do, Tommy? And he's like, <laughs> he's like oh, you know, I eat food, I talk on the phone. Sometimes I take naps. <laughs> I talked to him this week. He, he seemed But he, he also got the job done. You know, it's just, it, it, was, it was really cool seeing him in that position. Because um, when I, all joking aside, when it comes to his actual... Uh, his comprehension of the wrestling business. He's, he's a genius as far as psychology, promotion, and wrestling goes, which is why House of Hardcore is what it is. Now, uh, of course, a lot of our viewers at home, they've been watching you on Lucha Underground as Johnny Mundo. I guess just assessing just the whole success Lucha Underground has had. I know it's still trying to find a larger audience, but in terms of finding that new iteration of professional wrestling, everyone's talked about finding that new thing. Lucha Underground really seems to have found something here that is connected with people, and it's got to be cool to be a part of this from, from the ground floor on up took the words right out of my mouth um yeah absolutely i can't tell you how many times i've been going to some promotion who's promising me that this is gonna be the thing that changes everything it's all gonna be different but lucha underground is the, is the first promotion that has had that creative vision and had the the money and the creative integrity to to see it through and it definitely feels like a hybrid action film wrestling show and um it's the first time i've seen something really follow through and, and do that. And it has done that for an entire season. 39 episodes is, is season one. The season finale is August 5th. Um, make sure to tune in to watch my rematch versus Alberto El Patron. Um, maybe one of the best matches of my career. I, I'm really proud of that one. I think everyone who, uh, who watches it will get a couple of big surprises in that match. So um, that's, that's the season finale of season one. And... Um, yeah, I mean, what an honor. Like, it's my hometown of Los Angeles, in from day one, and um, it feels like I'm really a part of something that's going somewhere. How did you feel everything was executed with uh, the turn on Alberto, throwing him through Dario's window, and just being able to be in that villain role that you just seem to have taken to so naturally? The old barbershop angle, that's right? That's it, that's it. What fan of pro wrestling wouldn't love to do that? Um, <laughs> you needed a, ma a magazine with the two of you to tear and throw on Marty there on the floor. Yeah, right? I, I mean, uh, it's, uh, I, I've, I've, I've had this in my mind a lot of times. It's, it's more fun to be a heel in wrestling. And um, I, I sometimes like to wrestle like a baby face, but act like a heel. And um, this Lucha Underground presents the opportunity for me to do exactly that. Because the, uh, 
the physical acrobatics and capability of the entire roster is at such a high level that I don't have to make, sh make sure that I'm not outshining people. Right. And sometimes that's an issue with doing athletic things. But that's not an issue with being a heel at Lucha Underground. It's just uh, making sure that stuff happens at the right time for the right reason. And, um, yeah, man, I couldn't be happier with, with how that's going, with, with Alberto and Puma and Cueto, um, King Cuerno. The whole, the whole production team has been great. Now, uh, earlier this week, there was this back and forth involving you and WWE champion Seth Rollins. I believe it started with you sta stating you could beat Rollins at anything. And then he came back listing off all the accomplishments he's had as kind of some shots at you. What, what is the deal here with Seth Rollins? Well, I mean, I didn't, say, I didn't say I could beat him at anything. I said I, I would destroy him at pretty much everything. Okay, let's get, it, <laughs> let's get the quote on the record. Uh, you know... Uh, yeah, I mean, I didn't, I didn't ever want to say like, hey, Seth, like I've got more wrestling championships than you. I just said, like, hey, I think I can do what you do, only better. And um, then he went on this rant. I, maybe he's sensitive or insecure or something about uh, about his spot or whatever. I don't know why. Have you two ever met? Have there been any We've problems? Met a couple of times. I've always thought he was just a really nice guy. I, I think he's a he's a talented uh, in the ring wrestler. I, and uh, obviously very successful, and um, he for some reason went on this rant and told me to say it to his face. Reminds me of Alex Riley's theme music for some reason. <laughs> say it to my face, sort of, um, which is impossible because we work for different companies. So I don't know. I don't well, that's know. got everyone talking now. They're looking at man these two. Their styles. I mean, what a what a great clash of styles this would be. Two guys that would complement each other. I, mean, I think they're starting to say, man, we want to see this match, and it can't happen. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, it would be great for me. It would probably be less great for him because. People would be like, oh, John Morrison looks like Seth Rollins, only just a little bit better. <laughs> this is just going to grow and grow and grow, and there's going to be a big payoff down the road. I, I hope so. That would be great. But I, I predict he doesn't say anything back. Um, just, just, just my guess, because he, he knows probably there's a ring of truth to the words that I'm saying. And if uh, he's worried about his position, I'm sure he won't rebut. You know, there was a time years and years ago where, where some people criticized your mic skills, but that was a money promo right there. Just throwing it in a promo. into... I'm just, I'm just talking. I'm not, I'm not cutting a promo. Uh, I'm just saying, you know, it's in his court. I bet he doesn't respond. I mean, this is, this is going to escalate things, I think. Well, that would be great, because I, I would love to, to work him in the ring. I, th I think people, that selfishly, they, they would love to see the match. Are, ...are actually the truth. Um, I, I predict it doesn't. I predict it doesn't say anything, like I said, but we'll see. Have you been watching his stuff? What do you think he's been doing as champion? How he's like? I haven't. I haven't had as, as much time to watch WWE as I have wanted to lately. I've been. I've been doing more research, watching AAA and Lucha, and studying some of the moves that they're doing, and watching a um, Marp show, Lucha Underground. And um, I know. I know that Seth's doing great. I mean, I've, I've, I see him on the internet. He's, he's got a the match against Brock Lesnar coming up. Good for him. Um, I've just been more focused on on Lucha Underground and uh, promoting Ultima Lucha on August fifth. All right. He is Johnny Mundo. You can catch him, Ultima Lucha, him versus Alberto El Patron on the El Rey Network as they come. It's their season one finale. And then who knows? Maybe WrestleMania 35. John Morrison, the moonlight shine will make a return. Lucha Underground, WWE crossover. Ooh, never say never in wrestling, right? There you go. Right. Throwing the dream match scenario out there. Thank you very much, John. Thanks Appreciate it.